Welcome to today's video. My topic is COVID's unprecedented business opportunities. What I'm really trying to do is to give some people some hope in these challenging, bloody difficult, awful times when people are scared and concerned and uncertain and worried, all that stuff. <clears throat> I want to try and give a little bit of hope and if I can just give even a little bit of hope to just one person, then I feel blessed. I've done my job. OK, I mean, the coronavirus is on everybody's mind right now and and it can consume all your energy. It can really do that. I mean, be careful. Don't watch the news all day, for goodness sake, because I mean, you, it's too much to handle. OK. And what I would suggest you do is use your time much more carefully, which I'm going to share with you in a minute, all right? I mean, it's easy to sit on the sofa and feel sorry for yourself, okay? But we'll get through this together. And the note is together. We need to work together. Whether you're in a completely different business to me or in a completely business to me, I'm suggesting very strongly that you reach out to people, including your competitors, Okay, in these times. And I'll come back to that in a moment. My name is Peter Beck and I'm the Village Marketer. And as always, talking to you from my little Thai village way up near the Cambodian border. COVID's unprecedented business opportunities. Now, I don't want to play down the importance and the severity of the coronavirus. It is extremely sad and worrying to have seen the loss of life that's occurring. There's no doubt about that. And I don't want to get into the political spectrum of this. All I'm saying is I respect that. And at 75 years of age with a heart disease, you know darn well, I am a huge target for that. So it's on my mind as well. But I can't let it consume me. That's the point I'm trying to get at. Okay. I want you to try and look at some positives, if it's at all possible in this very difficult time. And here's some ideas to throw around. First of all, despite the fact in, in places like the USA and the UK, there are huge numbers of unemployment, okay? Record numbers of unemployment. There is still maybe 80 plus percent of people getting paid, okay? Look at the other side of it. Yes, there's huge unemployment things, but there's also about 80%, I don't know what the right figure is, but a significant number of people who are still getting paid. Okay. Secondly, they're confined to their homes, okay, which is a, a big enough challenge as it is, for example, but by being confined to their homes and not actually going to work, they've got more time. Right? So what does this really mean? One they're confined to their home, they've got more time. And secondly, the vast majority of the people you could talk with actually have money to spend. The result of this is, one, you may not realise this, email open rates are higher than they've been for years. Why? Because people have got the time to read them, right? That's the key point. Secondly, Social media posts are getting more likes and more comments and more shares than ever before for exactly the same reason, because people have the time. Okay, so what I'm suggesting to you is this. Look at this as a potential business opportunity. People have the money, people have the time. My issue is this. Oh, by the way, another thing is this ad costs have gone down significantly so if you're in the paid advertising thing have a look at that as well it's an opportunity but when it comes back to to actually approaching people okay i caution you with this sure they've got time sure they're still getting paid an income and and they're at home but respect the fact that they are at home okay Respect the fact that they can be under extreme pressure from within the family members or they, maybe they've had a loss within their family itself. Respect the fact that you need to earn the right to talk to them, right? You just don't cold call them, right? You need to earn the right. And to do that, you need to be a giver. 
you've got to give value. I mean, that's exactly the reason why I'm doing these Facebook Live. I've done a whole series on, on the coronavirus and the impact on various things. And I'm doing that because I want to give value. And the reason I want to give value is because I then want people to reach out to me rather than me trying to reach out to them. That's how I go about my business. And by the way, before I go any further, if you think someone is really struggling right now and could benefit from this video, please share it. Please share it while you're watching right now, okay? Because, because I'm going to give some thoughts that may help everybody, including you, all right? So with the idea of the ad cost being down, social media is becoming more, more and more um, a centre of people's lives right now. Start posting. If you're not posting every day, do it every day. I'm not asking you to post promotional stuff. I'm asking you to post things that get people's attention, that challenge them, that create curiosity, and more importantly, start building a, a conversation with them via Messenger. In other words, when you create the post, you comment, you comment on whatever comments you get. You reply to every comment. And then you go to Messenger and you say, Hey, Mary, thank you very much for the comment on my post about X. Tell me, what was it that really grabbed your attention? What you're trying to do, okay, is to use your social media posts to build a conversation on Messenger, to build a relationship on Messenger. And as you do that, and you can then start to give, okay, you may give in a variety of ways. You may give by, for example, you can invite them, if you wish, to join your Facebook group. Don't send them the link. Ask permission first. That's critical, okay? Permission-based sales and marketing at this point in time, and by the way, any darn point in time, is critical, right? So really, what I'm getting at is this. There's probably never been a better time than right now for you to build an audience, for you to build a tribe, okay? If you're just starting off, build a tribe first. If you've just got a new product and you've got no audience, you've got nothing. If you've got a product and you've got a little audience, then build on it. And I'm suggesting, and I know some people find this hard work, but one of the easiest ways to build a, a tribe is to create a Facebook group, right? Create a Facebook group or a LinkedIn group and you serve them and you become an awesome giver, okay? You... you Provide exclusive content to them. But it doesn't have to be your content, right? You can you get content from anywhere. I mean, there's a whole range of personal development options, such as the personal development magazine, etc. There's a whole lot like that that you can use and just share with people, okay? And they will respect you and thank you for doing it. You, you don't have to be the person that creates all the darn content. I mean, I do that, but that's my passion. You don't have to do what I'm doing, but you can. But you still need to provide exclusive content. So use Google, search out what, what could be interesting to people who are in your group. And the group you've got should be a group of like-minded people. Okay, that's what they should be. And then after you provide exclusive content to them, then you message them regularly. Okay. Now I know there's people on this call who will recognize what I'm about to say. Because I do this, I just don't say it, I actually do it. I message people in my group regularly, okay? And I try to keep it simple. And here, for example, here's one of my messages. I'll simply say, hey, Joe, just reaching out to say I'm thinking of you. Please stay well, please stay safe, and please stay in touch. That's it, all right? I've had an incredible response to that very simple message because it's non-threatening, it's non-business-based, okay? It's simply showing you're caring, simply showing that you, you're giving love to people for goodness sake. That's what it is, right? You don't just send that message and say, oh, listen, by the way, I want to introduce you to X, Y, and Z. You just, you, you just carry on a conversation based on integrity, care, compassion, understanding, and interest, all right? So in other words, that will help you get to understand your tribe. You need to truly understand them. And then you can earn the right by giving lots of value 
to ask them, what is their biggest fear right now? In the middle of the corona crisis, ask them that. You may be quite surprised with the answers you get because it may not be what you think at all. But the fact that you've earned the right to ask them, and they will share with you some things, and that could ge generate a whole series of other discussions for you to look at. In other words, don't waste time during this period. You, are, you need to be, how do you say this? You need to be looking at this situation and thinking, what can I learn from this? Okay? What can I learn? I want you to invest your time wisely when you do this. Okay? I mean, every small business needs help. You, me, everybody needs help. So if you can, reach out to people. And if you can, talk to them and get them to share with you not because you may have the solution, but because you are simply showing interest, okay? So invest your time wisely as well. And in this period of time, when I'm saying invest your time wisely, it doesn't mean you watching Netflix, it doesn't mean watching CNN all day. What it is, is you need to learn new skills, okay? Focus on personal development. Focus on sales skills. They're the two you need to look at because that will get you through this period of uncertainty, etc. Because without skills in that area, you're going to be in a difficult situation to get any cash flow at all for your business. Plus, and we will get through this, once it's finished, right, you will then be perfectly positioned to make your business bloom because you it's based on a whole series of new skills that you develop in this difficult time. So, Embrace the struggle. That's what I'm asking you to do. Embrace it. Look for positives in it, not just negatives in it, okay? Because in the end, things always work out, okay? It might not seem like it right now. Things could be tough right now. Things, I mean, you may have no cash flow in your business right now. There's a whole series of, of scenarios you can have. But I want you to do these things. I want you to open up your heart, right? I want you to talk to people from your heart, not your pocket. I want you to learn new skills. I mentioned to you before, person development and sales skills. They are important to you for your survival and for your relatability because people will want to relate with you if they can see that you are a person who is genuine, authentic, and someone that they actually can relate to. They don't care if you, they don't want to talk to gurus because they make them feel uncomfortable. Okay? They want to talk to someone who they can relate and resonate with. So open up your heart, learn new skills. And, and the struggle that you embrace will make you a better you. It really will make you a better you, okay? a better version of you. So through, as you come out of this crisis, you will be an incredibly different person because you've struggled, you've faced the struggle, you've built new skills, you've kept going, you haven't given up and sat on the couch, you keep pushing on, and that will position you very, very well, okay? And, and you become a very valuable resource. And not only that, you will position yourself as a caring person. And people will perceive not that you're not just a caring person, but therefore you, are, you run a caring business. Can you see where I'm coming from? That's critical for you, right? So think long term. And to finish with, I want you to think of these things. I want you to love yourself enough to feel worthy. Okay? I want you to feel be, love yourself enough to feel worthy. Don't give up on yourself. I want you to love yourself enough to feel deserving. Okay? You deserve the success you get. If you put the effort in, if you take the actions, if you learn the new skills, okay? and you treat people with love, care, and respect, then you do deserve the business. And finally, I want you to love yourself enough to forgive yourself. There will be time to make huge mistakes. We're all going to make huge mistakes. We all do at some time. And in this particular period, we will make even more of them because we're all under a bit of stress and we're all under a bit of pressure. Okay? So love yourself enough to forgive yourself. <clears throat> Work hard on becoming the very, very best version of you, okay? And if you can do that, then let the leader 
the real leader shine in you. Let it come out in you. People are looking for leadership right now. They're not looking for sales pitches. They're looking for people they can resonate and relate with. And that will build your business anyway. Think that through, okay? So if this helps you, please, please, and you think it could help somebody else, please share it. I would love you to share it because I'm sharing from my heart to your heart. And I'm hoping that if I can just, as I said earlier, help one person, just one person, get an idea that can help them a little bit through this crisis period, then I will feel blessed. Okay? Thank you very much for sharing your time with me. Many blessings from Thailand. And until next time, bye for now.